Eski Shahir is a city that for a long time has been so underrated, and not many foreign travelers included in its circuit. But in today's video, I'm going to take you with me to explore this surprisingly beautiful place, a city with about 800,000 inhabitants that holds a very fresh energy, and why this is a popular destination among Turkish weekenders. So we are finally going from Istanbul to the city of Eskişehir. This city is just three hours away from Istanbul by train and in our case we are taking the train from the Asian side of the city in Bostancı station since this station is very close to our place, to our house, so that's why it's, it's more convenient taking it from here. The ticket per person cost only 85 liras and we are taking the first class uh, seats which is not a lot of difference from the economy class. The economy class tickets are already about 60 to 65 liras, so why not taking the first class? Apparently it's much more comfortable and you have your own wagon. So let's go see, this is our first time traveling by, by train and I'm excited to do it, doing it here in, in Turkey. And this same train line is taking you from Istanbul all the way to Ankara, but in our case we are getting off in Eskişehir. So finally we have made it to this other beautiful city in Turkey called Eskişehir. It's only three hours away by train from Istanbul and we recommend you that if you want to get to know another city which is not too far away from Istanbul then this is a great choice. We want to show you as many places as we can that you can visit in one or even two days. There are many beautiful places and the city is so colorful just as you can see right now. And to be honest, I'm loving this city and this is just our first hours here and I'm already loving it. Eskişehir means old city in Turkish. It is located along the Porsuk River and it's situated between Istanbul and Ankara. Two of the main universities of Turkey are in Eskişehir. That is the main reason why this city has a lively environment for its high young population. The city is beautifully adorned with plenty of gold color sculptures and statues, giving that picturesque scene to the area. I also applaud the fact that the municipality takes seriously having green areas within the city. There are many trees, gardens, colorful plants that makes us feel refreshed, especially during summer season. So my first piece of advice will be that if you want to use the public transportation here in Eskişehir, you must buy this card, which is very similar to the Istanbul card, but this one is called S-Card. This one you can find it in any uh, like little shops or stands. It only cost us uh, 12 Turkish Liras and they will top it up there that directly. And just as in Istanbul, you also have to link the, your HES code into this card. So we are going to, to leave the official website where you can do everything in just five minutes and with your passport number. So it is quite easy and for free, of course. This is not a very big city. This is not like Istanbul, of course, but even if you want to go to other parts of the city and famous places, for example, Sasoba Park and One River, where you can also take gondolas, if we recommend you taking the public transportation, especially if it's summer, because for example, right now, it's, uh, it's the end of August and it is quite hot right now. So we didn't want to, to walk all the way from Odun Pasare to this area. It was just two or three stations by tram but we recommend you doing that in each area is very well connected by transportation
So now we are here in our first stop in this little restaurant, which is just right next to the river where you can take the gondolas. And this is a special dish that it's quite famous here in Eskishahir city. And this is called Chiberek. And this one, it's quite famous because it, there is a story that a lot of people uh, who migrated from Crimea area, which are called the Tatars, they came to this area many centuries ago and they brought with themselves this special dish. This is a Tatar food. So that's why you will be able to, to, to find the Chiburek, especially in Eskishehir, because this is the main area where the Tatar uh, groups of people mi migrated to. And this one is, it, it looks quite puffy and maybe it might look big for you, but in reality it's not that filling. These are filled with minced meat, with onion, and they are fried. And of course you cannot miss the special iran which it goes really well with these ones. And especially for hot weather, as right now it's quite hot outside, so right now it comes really refreshing. I just love uh, Iran. So let's try them, how, how they really taste. Mm. So we have finally made it to this famous park in Eskiche here. This is called Sasova Park. And here is where we can see that famous like Disney type castle. And also there are many other interesting things to see and to visit here in the same place. We just took a short bus from Odum Pasare. It was the number 11. And in about 10 to 11 minutes, we were already here. So it was quite easy. So let's check together this place. The entrance fee to this park is totally free of price, so you can come here. This is a very frequented place, not just by tourists, but also by locals. Doing picnics here are totally forbidden, so don't expect that you will be able to come and have a picnic. But there are many areas where you can enjoy these beautiful gardens, this beautiful park, the castle, so we will be showing you right now. This place is considered as Eskishahir's Disneyland Park and as you can see it is because of the beautiful castle that they have in here. But if you look carefully at it, you will realize that it that is not just a normal castle. If you see carefully, you will realize that you can see actually the Galaxy Tower and also some minarets adorning that castle. So it, it has a quite interesting structure and architecture. This is a science, culture and art park and this area is also divided into so many sections because here you can find many buildings that are related to science, art and also many restaurants. As you can see behind me, also you can find an artificial a lake where also many people they can do kayaking so if you are into these kind of activities definitely you must come here in Eskishahir. Do it feel strange? <laughs> it feels weird. <laughs> no, I got scared. I saw people actually going there but and it seemed quite easy but um, I got a bit afraid. I can feel how it moves and no I don't want to fall or anything like that. I'll give it another try. I'm giving it another try, but I'm going slowly, slowly. <laughs> Look, for example, this one, this has the castle, Odum Pasare.
Even though this mosque was built in the 1960s and basically is a new mosque, I can tell you that it has an exquisite, exquisite architecture. As you can see, the design is beautiful, outstanding, and I recommend you come in here if you have some extra time to spend in Eskishahir. You will love this place. We were here trying to get the gondola ride or the ferry ride, but unfortunately, since it, it is a long weekend for the Turkish people because there is a long holiday, everything was already booked. So basically, we couldn't ride any. But if you want to, to come here and if you don't find a lot of people, then you can take it. And for the gondola ride, you will have to pay, to pay 50 liters per person. And for the ferry, where it is a shared ferry uh, little type, it, you will pay 10 Turkish liras per person uh, as well. I don't know how long it's each ride, so just come and ask here and they will take you along this river. So this is another specialty that we can find here in Eskishahir city. And this is called Met Helvase. And this one, uh, the helva, this one is made of lemon, sugar, water, oil, and flour. So you already know that if you are coming here to Eskishahir, you also need to try this one because this is special from this city. And this is some type of dessert. Look, here we have the, the place where we bought it. And this is what it looks like. It's very soft. Do you want some as well? Mm. So good. <laughs> it is so good. I might go buy some extra to take back, back home in Istanbul because I'm pretty sure this one we will finish it in one or two days. It's really good. One of the most visited areas in Eskishehir is definitely this one. This one is called Odum Pasare and is situated in one of the oldest settlements of the city. Here you will, will be able to find a lot of colorful uh, little old houses dating back to the Ottoman Empire. As you can see, we can find beautiful picturesque places and you will love this area. So when coming here, we invite you to visit this place. This is a must. Here also the environment is quite lively. We will find many cafes, restaurants, and even uh, many weekends, we can also find many little uh, bazaars where you can do some shopping, handcrafts, and, and everything. So don't miss this place. This is a 16th century Ottoman mosque located in Odumpasare. It was built in 1517. This mosque received its name because its dome is covered with lead. This place should be included in your must-do here in Eskishehir. 
this offers beautiful views from from the city especially in the evening almost at night we highly recommend you come in here do not skip it because it's situated in one of the of the hills of Eskishehir so the views from here are truly impressive but surely I want to recommend you something that when you are coming here we highly recommend you taking a taxi from Odum Pasare because coming up here if you walk on your own it will be quite tiring I mean it will be very difficult so that's why we recommend you taking a, a taxi from there and in this in this city in Eskisha here taxis are quite affordable so you will find a very good deal and just come all the way up here and maybe it will be easier for you going back to Odum Pasare uh, by foot on your own or you can take a taxi as well the, this Shalale Park is totally free to enter. The only thing is that, I, that if you want to, to have a picnic or some a fire or whatever, you need to know that they are forbidden. You cannot do that here. You will find also a very beautiful artificial waterfall and that's where the name of Shalale Park comes from. That means waterfall park. So you will find as well many beautiful points to take pictures and videos at and we're trying to find as well some windmill that eats around here and some other um, sculptures so if we find them we are going to show them in this park we can also find some sculptures of don quixote and sancho panza these are some of the most interesting places that you can visit while in Eskishehir. Remember that there are many other places, but this is what we did in two and a half days. This is a city that for sure you will enjoy it a lot. There are many places and activities for all family, and for sure you will love this city. Plus remember, it's a place that it is very close to Istanbul. It is just three hours away by train. And if you want a quick getaway from Istanbul, you can choose this beautiful city. You will not regret it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. That way we can also reach more people like you who would like to enjoy videos like ours. For more tips and recommendations about Turkey and Istanbul, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye bye.